Another neat thing, by the way, if you're wondering who this is, that's the Archbishop of uh, Dijon. Another neat thing that I just realized happened, you know, sometimes on your phone it says a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Three years ago on this day, my father and I completed our Camino to Santiago. There we are. It's my dad and me. We cycled the Camino. We didn't walk it. People will make fun of us. Do what you want to do. We cycled it. My dad's a big cyclist. He is uh, 73 years old. The man cycles like 70 miles. He's in so much better cycling shape than I am. So he and I cycled on the Camino. That's us in front of the Camino. It's a little bit under construction, but that happened three years ago today. That's my dad, the other Dr. Marshall. He has his PhD from Texas A&M in meat science. I have my PhD in medieval Thomistic philosophy. Um, but the two doctors, it's always fun when someone walks up when we're together and says, uh, Dr. Marshall, and you say, which one? Dr. Marshall meat, Dr. Marshall philosophy, but it was awesome. And one of the great things about the Camino, when you get there, you're totally exhausted. When we got there, it was raining, but we were able to go into the Basilica there and see the Bota Fumero. Now the Bota Fumero is the smoke boat. And it was running that day. We were really excited. And I took video footage of it on my camera. I'm, I'm going to show it to you. I don't think I've ever showed it on the podcast, actually. Um, and we were able to, to see the smoke boat. Now, it's a durable that they fill with incense with shovels. And when they get this thing going, and it's enormous, and it's hot, and it puts out tons of uh, incense. And yes, I do plan to do the Camino again. I want to do it on foot, but I also want to do it cycling. And I do do pilgrimages sometimes. So if you're interested in doing the Camino, um, I'll let you know if I'm going to do it again here soon. I think that's the world's biggest thoroughbred. 